Hello, I'm Daniel Palm Videos Tech Support, and in this tutorial, I'm going to go over how to completely uninstall GeoVision and the drivers, just in case anything malfunctions or doesn't work properly. This is a troubleshooting step that we normally take in resolving most issues. So, first, when we have the cameras up on the screen, we want to go ahead and exit them. So, let's stop the monitoring first. Click on the monitoring icon and then go to stop all monitoring. Then in the bottom left hand corner, we'll see the power button. Click on that and choose exit. Now once the multicam system is fully exited, we'll go ahead and uninstall it. All right, so go ahead and click on the start button. Go to all programs, locate the GV folder. Now, if you have a GV800 or a GV600, your GV folder will probably say something different. I have an 800 card in here. So I'm going to go to the GV800 card folder, and then I'm going to go to an uninstalled GV or GeoVision GV800 system. And yes, I want to remove all the components. Now, this takes a minute to uninstall. Okay, now that the GeoVision program is completely uninstalled, you'll want to, or uninstalled, let's go ahead and press OK. And then we'll go down to Start, and then right click on My Computer, and go down to Properties. And here we're going to locate the Hardware tab, and then click on Device Manager. Now, depending on your card version, if you have a combo card, it would be up here under DVR. You just click the plus sign and basically do what I'm going to do with the GV800. If you have a non-combo card like GV600, 650, 800, or anything like that, you'll go down to the sound and video game controllers and plus press the plus sign and then right click on each one of these GV drivers and uninstall. You know, be careful, you do not want to uninstall any of the audio drivers or anything like that for your audio card. Like mine's a Sound Blaster, so I would not remove that. I also have a Realtek in here. I wouldn't remove that or the media control devices. Only the drivers listed as GV and then your card series. Some people may only have one, some people may have two, or three, or four. I have eight of them on here, it looks like. Okay, now that I want, now, now that I removed all the drivers, there's no GV drivers in the sound, video, and game controllers. I'm just gonna hit X, I'm gonna click OK. And then I want to go ahead and look down by the clock and see if there's any GeoVision processes running. And I do see this control center service. So I'm just going to double click on that. I'm going to go up to service and go to exit. I'm going to type in the username and password for GeoVision. And now that's gone. Then I'm going to go to start my computer. And I'm going to locate the C drive. And then there should be a GV folder in here, whether it's GV800, 600, or, or what, whatever, GV1480. I'm just going to go ahead and look in here. I, I don't have any video in here because I had all my video mapped to another drive. If you do have video in here, you may want to move it. But you just want to highlight the GV folder. And hold down the shift key and press delete. Choose yes to delete all, and choose yes. Now you may get an access on deleting files. Just go ahead and ignore that, open up the folder, and then select all the files that are not being used. It looks like this one's the only one that's being used. Let's try to delete it once again, and we'll get an error. 
Okay, let's just go ahead and leave that one there. And then go to start, go to run, type in the letters CMD, that's Charlie Michael David, and press enter. And now we're going to type in CD backslash Windows. Press enter. And then CD space INF, that's India Nancy Frank. Press enter. Type in MD space backup. That's Michael, David, and then space, backup, press enter. And in this case, the subdirectory or files backup has already existed. That's okay. Now we're going to type in copy, space, OEM, that's orange, echo, Michael, star, which is the shift, eight, and then dot, star, space, backup. Now, what should normally happen is a bunch of little files, but I'm just going to go ahead and press, type in all, press enter, and there's what it should do. Okay, now we will type in delete, D-E-L space, O-E-M, orange, echo, Michael, star, dot, star, space, forward slash, F, press enter, and that deletes those files. Go ahead and exit out of the command prompt, go to start, go to run, type in C colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash drivers. Press enter. And we'll go to the system 32 drivers folder. Now it's very important that you do not delete any other files than what I say. So all the files that start with AG, we want to delete. So you just select them by holding down the control button and clicking on them. In this case, there was only three. Usually there's more. Let's go ahead and hold down the shift key and press delete and choose yes. Yes to all. And then we'll locate the G's in here. It's all alphabetical. Once we get to the G's, we want to select every one that says GV. So hold down the control key and click on all the GV files. Hold down the shift key and press delete. Choose yes and then yes to all. And then yes. Okay. Now we got rid of all the GV files in here. Let's go ahead and exit out of here. And then we'll go to start, go to run, type in CMD, as in Charlie Michael David, press enter, and then type in C, D, backslash, Windows, press enter, and then type in D, E, L, space, G-E-O star dot I-N-I, India, Nancy, India, press enter. Okay, now we're ready to reboot the computer. Let's go to start, turn off computer, and then click restart. 